Welcome back to Bokida. Only one single solitary lone achievement last time. Soft and weak overcome hard and strong. What a sentence. Complete the Haven monolith. So I guess that entire castle was Haven, the Haven, not the pillar we came out of or whatever. And again, I wonder, like, was Haven even there before I went in and did that tunnel to get the anti-gravity thing? No idea. But yeah, we might be beating the game, I guess, or at least, like, beating the main story. We're, well, only 66%. I actually thought it would be more at this point. So, I don't know. Who knows? Let's find out what this is all about. So... Oh, I see. It's super hot. Time moves when I move. If I, like... Middle click? No, I don't... I don't like reset or a uh, reverse gravity or anything. So... I can't build anywhere, of course. Or can I build on the light planet? Maybe you just have to like run around for a while until something happens. Yeah, things are collapsing here. Maybe opening up a, a hole? Ah, forming a gate. I see. And I can I can jump up that high? No. I I need more? Do I just keep running around or I feel like I can probably get out if I just like make use of some clever jumping and stuff. Jumping against these walls, maybe. Surely there's a wall somewhere where you can reach that point. Hold on. There's gotta be a place where I can jump up. There's no way they tested every single little slope in here. I refuse to believe that. Oh, man. I can stand on that. Oh, but there's just a giant, like, cylindrical, uh, invisible wall around everything. That's how they do it. You can't even get on the slopes at all. But let's try and, like, climb up some floating rocks, I suppose. Oh, that couldn't stand on that, apparently. There we go. I guess that's what you're supposed to do to get up to the the gate. Just jump on floating floating rocks. All right. If I can't get out now, yeah, I can't get out. It's just a, an invisible wall covering everything. I wonder if it extends, like, really high up in the air, or if you can climb above it. Some blocks are still, like, floating up and... Vanishing. I wonder if I could, like, ride one up somehow. This might be a pointless endeavor. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm just gonna give up and enter the gate. Oh, and now I unlock the final area. Okay, so it wasn't the end. Oh! I unlock an area in all of the monoliths. Okay, that's interesting. And they all have different symbols. Whatever that means. Epilogue. Heartfelt Reunion. Okay, so I am, like, done with the game, sort of. It's just the final chapter, and oh my god, the final frame rate drops. And that's something new. 
Holy shit, the frames are so bad now. It's down to like 40. I'm telling you, every time you complete an area, the performance in here just plummets. It's so bad. And I can't do anything about it. I can't do any less than what I have. Zero. Does that actually work? Just no shadows? It, I, maybe it did like pop it up to 50, but I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of new stuff that I don't recognize. I don't even know what the shadow thing is, because, I mean, I can still see shadows on the blocks. So, what's what's the deal? What do the shadows even mean in this game? Okay, that was nothing. I hope this hasn't, like, changed. Oh, is this Haven? Just broken down? I hope this hasn't changed anything where you, like, can't find the same orbs or echoes anymore. Because it's all broken down. That might be a thing. This is still the same steel, right? Yeah. But this is closed off. Huh. That's a little worrying. Is that a steal? The world is a sacred vessel and is not something that can be ruled. Those who would rule it, ruin it. Our leaders have forsaken these words. One should fear the consequences of their reckless behavior. Greed is bad. Self-sacrifice is good. Bad is bad. And good is good. Yeah, can't go down here. And I guess this is the, uh... The tower, yeah? This was where the last monolith was. It's like out in the open now. Well, was it out in the open before? I'm not even sure. Anyway, I wanted to go to the floating island with a tree. There. That must be something, right? There's no way that's there if it's nothing. Oh, Echo? No? I thought I saw an echo, but I guess not. So I want to try... Ah, yeah, you can't really build, like, that fast. If you just swing your mouse, like, away, then yeah, it doesn't really work. You have to actually let it catch up. This might be a problem with the whole, like, cut through a thousand blocks or whatever. Yeah, you have to be very slow 
I was hoping that one power you would gain would be like a bulk creation power where you could like oh wrong one where you could maybe create like a, a line and then fill in a big area as you as you wanted oh it has an end I didn't even realize you can't clear as much as you want you can't clear the entire world in a single go okay well that also makes the the uh, 3000 clear thing a bit harder We'll have to see about that. Is that an orb or a steel? So here I've been. Isn't this the Bramble Mace? Because I kind of wanted to check something here. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's just check this out. I was going to do this in like a second playthrough or something, but yeah, I just want to... See what happens if you just go, like, somewhere else. If you just wander around willy-nilly and don't care about the order of these things, then where do you end up? What happens? Is it actually bad or is it just all of it might be nonsense? Come on, get up there. Oh, shit. What are these? Oh, is that just like... No? I thought it was something I left behind when I cut. Oh, shit, I think... No, I thought I hit, like, the skybox. Ah, there's a ceiling. I was kind of hoping I could get out of this entire area and just, like, see it from... from afar. That would have been interesting. But it doesn't look like you can do that. It's all just in a little box. So this is all just like... Just a little maze that you have to just find your way through. And you can do it randomly or you can just... Uh, Follow the sequence? It doesn't seem like following the sequence actually, like, does anything more than just takes you on the right path. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't completely follow the sequence when I did it. I just sort of got to the end. Though now I can't find it. There it is. No. Nope, that's not it. Wait, so from here it would be... It would be here, right? Assuming I've followed the rest, which I probably haven't. Yeah, I guess, I guess I haven't. Yeah, maybe this is harder than I thought to just find randomly. I did not think it would be at all difficult to just brute force your way. All right, I'm out. Wonder if I should try like running with VSync on? Wasn't that an option? Uh well, there's max FPS. There's no actual VSync. So that wouldn't really do anything. I mean, max F FPS wouldn't matter since I'm not getting a max FPS anyway. I'm not getting 120. I'm getting 60 most of the time, sometimes less. And yeah, I've read that. Oh, but I I made it out in the other place even though I didn't complete it. Okay, so that was also a tunnel. Well, seems like it took me closer to the floating island, so guess I'm fine with that. 
And the floating island is very close above the forest? No? What is it above? Because maybe that's something, like maybe that used to be on the ground and now is not on the ground anymore? Forty-nine. Yeah, was this here before, this crater? I think so, yeah, this is where I... the little tiny room where I got a... an echo, right? And going down does nothing. Ah, there's an orb right at the bottom of it. Well, guess I'll do... Wait, no. This one is better. Ah, whatever. That's fine. Just start making my way up. You can't build and dash or boost at the same time. I just tested that, like holding it down and then just right clicking to boost up at the same time would be kind of nice. Man, how on earth are you going to be able to uh, cut like a thousand blocks or whatever? Because you have to line them all up in one single line. That seems almost impossible. Oh man, it's still far away. Well, the, the bottom is closer. Alright, now where was that orb? Was it in here? Yep, there it is. Nice. Gotta sneeze. And I guess that's all for right here, but are there more little holes like that that I can find? No, that seems to be the only one. Okay, well, then let's climb up. Can't build on the tree. What exactly is going on here? Oh, there's something, okay. Maybe those doors open? Like, maybe that's nothing right now, but once I go into all of the monoliths, they will open up? Let's just get up to the top of the tree. I think I can do it if I just build out and then build up. Nothing. No orb in the tree crown or anything. There's one. I mean, it's interesting that the main hub world keeps changing when you do more things. It keeps, like, evolving and different things change and break down and get added and stuff like that. Just a shame that it runs like crap after it does. Yeah, this is just, like, fracturing... Anything in here, since this is, like, blocked off? The windows are blocked off on this area, level? 
No way in from the side. Can you go in from below? Yeah, you can. So there's something, too. What is even happening? There seems to be a lot of stuff to do. Maybe this is just the end of the game and the epilogue part, like... The, uh... Oh! That's like the yin-yang door. Would I have to have already completed the yin-yang door? Oh, is this? That This isn't the temple with a yin-yang door, right? Can I still find that? Or is that just gone now? But yeah, maybe this whole part is just kind of the ending and then the monoliths and all that are just like a post-game kind of thing. Maybe additional challenges, because the game hasn't been very challenging so far. Yeah, here we have four doors, and if I go into one, where do I end up? Well, I'm somewhere. There's a steel, the bay. Have I been here? Or is this a new area? I mean, it feels like the same area. That's the monolith, but how could I have missed that that echo? Precious things lead one astray, yet everywhere gilded temples have sprung from the fair stone. Speaking of such aberrations seems only to expose the sage to cal cal calumny. Calumny? I don't know what that word is. In these unexpectedly trying times, one must remember to keep to the ancient way and offer nice eggs. So there's something in here. Yeah, this all feels very new. Ah! Wait, did I seriously just like miss this portion? I was here, but not in there. Yeah. I already read this. Cast wide. Huh. Okay, surprising. So... I see the monoliths are not like new challenges, they're just like fast travel points at this point. They take you to the central island and that's kind of it. Right? So if I just go up here again, I'm just at the floating island once again. Maybe you weren't really supposed to like fly up from below, but you can. Yeah. Well, that's slightly disappointing. I was hoping they would be like additional challenges. Um, I don't know if should I bother? I guess I'll bother going into the thing now. We'll just see if it's actually anything, if this is just like the end point. 78%. Oh right, but I did want to find the, the temple as well with the yin-yang, because this is not it, I'm pretty sure. Also, what's further down below? Huh? What? Who put that there? I haven't put these blocks here. Or were they left over? Did I place these blocks like in the the ground area of this and then when it flew up in the, the sky then they got taken up here as well? And there's four paths to go. And I can fill something in here. Oh. Oh, it's all like a, a kaleidoscope. Interesting. Hold on. I just want to check this part. This does take me up. Yeah. So that door is nothing. Huh. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave it off here, I suppose, and I don't know what to do, really, like in which order. 
This would be a good place to do the like 3000 block clear, I suppose, if you can fit 3000 blocks in here. Because you can just do that and then clear and you get four times as many. But that was definitely not 3,000. But yeah, okay, might be something worth keeping in mind. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. I guess maybe we'll beat the game next time and then start worrying about achievements and finding dark echoes. And I don't know if I'm going to have to like, I have no idea how it's going to work. If things are changed forever and I can't find that temple again with a yin yang door, then what does that mean? And I don't know. Many questions. We'll just have to push on and see where the answers lie. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.